you ever have those days where it's just go, go, go from the moment you wake up to the moment you your head hits the pillow where you just don't even have a second to pause? And you're probably thinking, Michelle, that is every single day for me. Well, my name is Michelle Cedarberg, and today I'm going to talk about the power of pause and perhaps give you a little bit more incentive to take those moments and small steps throughout the day to give yourself a little bit of stress relief along the way. So it's very difficult when we are on the go with demands coming at us from every direction to actually give ourselves permission to pause. But there's a couple of ways that we can do it quite simply that doesn't take that much time and can also uh, give us big benefits. Now, the number one thing that I will say that every single one of us should be doing every single day, if our work environment allows it, is to take our breaks, to take our coffee breaks, to take our lunch breaks, and to take those breaks in a positive way. It's very challenging in many uh, care homes and facilities because you're on the go and sometimes it's hard to get those breaks, but I would challenge you to find a way to make that happen. Our brains are massively energy hungry and when you're moving around your facilities all day long, lifting, carrying, doing the work that you do, your physical body is going to have fatigue. And so without those moments away to just sit and breathe, that stress is going to compound and you're going to feel excessively fatigued. You're going to have a difficult time sleeping. You're going to have less energy throughout the day. And at the end of the day, when you're connecting with the people that matter most for, to you, take your breaks and take them. If you can, I say tech free. Uh, we should all take our breaks like smokers uh, <laughs> without the smoke. So get away from your work environment, preferably go outdoors, breathe fresh air, uh, have conversations with people that you enjoy and try and give your, your technology a break. Because what we'll tend to do when we have a break is open up our social media and scroll. And that's not giving us a true um, reprieve that we need. So number one, take your breaks. Number two, throughout the day, if you feel stress mounting, if something has occurred that has caused your blood to boil or you need to just get your uh, energy calmed, stop and breathe. I call it a two minute timeout and it can be a 20 second timeout if that's all the time that you have. But interestingly enough, uh, as human beings, our, our bodies know how to breathe. Our, our brain, our, our reptilian brain controls our breathing, which means it's going to happen whether you think about it or not, which is a good thing for many of us because if we had to do it ourselves, we'd probably forget. So because it's on default, we will tend to just let it happen in the background and not really think about using the breath to its full benefit. We will breathe in the upper third of our lungs, <laughs> saying to ourselves, I don't have time for a full breath of air. Think about that. How often do you breathe <sighs> right down to the bottom of your lungs? This is what I want you to do right now. You're sitting in front of this screen watching me. I want you to just relax your shoulders and take a 20 second time out with me. If you're somewhere where you can just pause and close your eyes, uh, wonderful. Do that. Close your eyes and breathe in through your nose, right to the bottom of your lungs, and then out slowly four counts. I want four to six counts in. And then exhale. Four to six counts out. Now keep doing that. As you're breathing in, be aware of where your body is holding tension. And as you exhale, let a little bit of that tension go. And one more time, nice and deep, right to the bottom of your lungs. And exhale. That's a 20 second timeout. That was four deep breaths of air. You might feel like your heart rate is going down. I always start talking more slowly once I've done this little exercise. And it's a good way for us to just check in with ourselves and, and allow oxygen to the brain and body, allow cortisol, to be reduced, the stress hormone, and to just give us a little bit of sense of calm. We don't often breathe to the bottom of our lungs, and when we do that, it gives us a little bit of pause, or rather the power of pause. And the final um, tip that I have is what I call breathing on steroids, and I should probably call it something different because uh, it's just simply taking your breathing up a notch and practicing meditation. 
I, if I was in an audience right now, I'd be asking, how many do you meditate? And more often than not, I'll get, you know, 10% or 5% of the audience that have tried it or are doing it on a regular basis. If that is you, you know the power of it. Now, when we think about meditation, we often think of the transcendental OM type meditation that's 20 minutes a day, twice a day. But these days, with everybody rushing around, you know, we, we come to understand that, that, that even small efforts at meditation are very powerful. It can be as little as two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. Um, I use an app called Headspace. Sometimes they use one called Calm or Insight Timer. There's a number of things that you can, uh, apps that you can use to guide yourself, or you can just simply sit and breathe. The idea is to just allow the oxygen in and to try and clear your mind. I know that the thoughts are going to come in. You just acknowledge them and then let them go. This is why guided meditation can be helpful uh, to begin with. But meditation is so wonderful for our health because it actually, you know, gives us more of that oxygen that we crave. It strengthens our brain in fascinating ways. First off, it uh, strengthens and thickens the walls of the prefrontal cortex, which is the part behind your forehead, the CEO and conductor of everything you do. So when we meditate, we get better at focusing and organizing our thoughts and, and, and working more deliberately on the things that we're working on. Our hippocampus uh, also thickens, and that's the part of our brain that's responsible for learning and memory. And so we tend to um, remember things more and we are able to imprint new learning more easily. And the last one that's really powerful is um, that meditation will shrink the amygdala, two little almond-shaped parts at the base of your brain that are responsible for the fight or flight stress response. So when we meditate, we, are ten we tend to be more calm, we tend to manage stress better. That's pretty powerful. And it will also help us to feel kind of just general contentment. Uh, I was uh, practicing meditation and trying to get in 15 minutes a day and I was having a tough time reaching that mark and so I stopped altogether. Sometimes I have to take my own advice. It was an audience member who reminded me, well, you don't have to do 15 minutes, just start with two and go from there. So now what I do is I sit down in the morning and I turn on my app or I just sit and breathe. On the days where I'm feeling like I'm fighting it, I will give myself two minutes, three minutes of just breathing and entering into the day that way. If after two or three minutes, my mind is fighting me, I will just you know, be grateful for what I uh, did in that short amount of time and get on with my day. The power of pause is that it doesn't need to be big moments of time. We can get so much restoration in small, powerful moments throughout the day. So. Make sure you take your breaks. When stress is mounting and even when it's not, stop and give yourself a 20 second breathing break right to the bottom of your lungs. And if you're feeling like you wanna take that power of pause to the next level, then try meditation every morning for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, whatever works for you and your lifestyle and your mindset. Until next time, I am Michelle Cedarberg reminding you that all of the work that you do is so vital and the, the small steps that you can take to take care of yourself will help you to be able to do all the work that you do so much better. And again, if you've got questions about anything that I've shared this week, please email me at hello at michellecedarberg.com. Yesterday, I mentioned a little freebie, the Mesh for Health PDF, and I'll send that to you if you didn't see yesterday's video. Just send me a message at hello at michellecedarberg.com if you got questions or if you just want the PDF. And also tell me one thing that you're taking away about the sessions that you've seen this week that uh, you particularly enjoy and that you're absolutely going to implement. Until next time, which is tomorrow, last day of Hearts and Hands Conference. Thank you.